why, why, why Purdue? Why Purdue? Why Purdue? You know, throughout that whole process, it was it was definitely, you know, long but also quick at the same time. I had to make a decision in like two months, but it was it was a lot. But you know, honestly, I went with my gut feeling and uh, what Coach Walters is building here, uh, Coach Harrell and everything. You know, I I, I just prayed about it, um, felt God was leading me this direction, and I kind of just went with my gut feeling. So um, ended up here. How have things been so far here? It's been great. I love it so far. Everyone's super nice and uh, welcoming. And, um, you know, this this staff and the group of guys on this team is just so fun to be around. So, um, you know, the culture is really solid. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to uh, the future. One thing Graham keeps mentioning is you're a dual threat quarterback. How much of an asset to this offense is being able to move with your legs and also be able to throw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Coach Harrell's offense definitely, I think, utilizes my game well uh, in what I do. Um, he allows me to obviously throw the ball first, but obviously extend plays and, um, you know, have some pools in the offense where I can run as well. So, um, you know, I, I love his offense and, um, you know, picking it up uh, pretty quick. Um, I think a lot of the guys are, you know, obviously we have a lot of work to do, but, um, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, I think will fit my game well. Do you recall that first meeting with Coach Walters and Coach Harrell when they came and visited you initially? Any recollection? You're saying in uh, the recruiting process? Yeah. Yeah, I remember they. <laughs> the first time they came to my house, um, that was, I think it was like, I don't know, 24 hours or 36 hours right when Coach Walters got hired. So, um, um, you know, just recruiting me wise, I just felt, you know, uh, important to them. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously they're important to me and uh, we just clicked right away. So. What are you hoping to show these um, brand new coaches out here? Um, what you have? Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, just, I, I just enjoy coming out here and competing. You know, um, you know, bringing that leadership quality um, in me and trying to improve that and um, get guys on this team to you know rally around around me and in this offense. So um, you know, it's. When you're going to a new place, you you know you want to do it naturally and show um, show that through your work ethic, and then um, being vocal starts to come. So um, start starting to get to that point, and um, you know obviously just come out here and compete and try to get better every day. So what did you learn in your time at Texas that helps you transition into this mm -hmm. role? Yeah, I mean I learned so. I mean going back to freshman year when Sam Ellinger was there, you know obviously he was um, he helped me learn a lot, and then. Um, you know, Texas is just such a such a big program and such a big spotlight. So um, you know, it comes with it comes with um, you know pressure and all that sort of stuff, which you know here does as well. Um, but just you know, I learned so much from um, you know Coach Herman and Coach Sark, and um, you know nothing nothing but the best to them. And um, you know, obviously, I uh, look forward to seeing how they do this year as well. Have you reached out to Sam? Is he still in Indiana? I don't know with the Colts. I'm pretty sure he's. Oh, he still he still is with the Colts, okay. but um, I th I don't know where he is on the off season. Okay. Um, I need to call him. But <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're receiving for? They're solid. They're they're good, and um, you know they're picking up the offense really quickly. Um, you know, and we have some playmakers out there, especially in the tight end room as well. Um, you know, really all across the board. So um, you know, I'm looking forward to to what they can bring, and um, you know, just looking forward to it. Did it mean a lot to you how quickly Jade jumped on you because? Coach Walters, when he got hired, you know, right after, said you were the best quarterback in the portal, and they made you the top priority for them. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it had a lot, of, lot to do with it. Um, you know, I just believed in them and Coach Walters and what he did, uh, at, you know, at, at his previous spot, and uh, just going against his defense every day. Now, you know, I can see why he was so successful. Um, but and then Coach Harold too. Um, you know, I, I love his scheme and I think it fit me well. And, you know, I think our personalities, you know, connected well too. And, um, you know, they're just fun to be around, but also, um, you know, are, are, are down to business when it comes to it. So it's a great balance. So do, do you have a recollection of watching Graham when you were a little guy? And <laughs> I know the play. I know the play <laughs> against Texas. Um, I was too young to really remember, you know, the whole whole deal, but uh, that play definitely definitely is in my brain. Do you have any Aaron Rodgers stories or anything that, you know, he can kind of share with you? That yeah, uh, he's talked about it a little bit. You know, just his experience at Green Bay. You know, that's incredible to, incredible to be around a guy like like A Rod. So, um, you know, I'm, I can't think of any like personal stories that he's told me right now, but he's definitely mentioned him a couple times. What's the biggest difference between Austin and West Lafayette? the weather I would say. <laughs> Just the weather? <laughs> the weather, you know, what's cool about it though is Austin is such a big city. So 
for me, it's nice to kind of get in a small, small college town feel. So, you know, I was I looked at it as you know best of both worlds. Got to experience both in college. So, um, you know, to me, I think it's a great fit. And um, you know, I just got to get used to when it gets around five degrees. So, that's one thing I'm still still getting used to a little bit. But. Did you bring your cowboy boots? I did not. <laughs> I've never been like a big cowboy boot guy, honestly. Even though I, even though I was born in Texas, so. <laughs> you don't have a hat or anything. I don't, honestly. It's pretty embarrassing. I should, but <laughs> you can't go back to Texas. <laughs> I know. I know. I just <laughs> exposed myself. Yeah, these interviews are going to bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.